Welcome back to Mayumi TV. If you're new here, my name is Mayumi and just like you, I'm in the journey towards getting it together. So if you're interested in videos about self-improvement, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right beside it so you are updated every time there's a new upload once a week. Now let's go back to when you last saw me. Hi guys, welcome back to Mayumi TV. If you're new here, my name is Mayumi and I finally completed Chloe Ting's two-week shred program and here are my results. So is there any difference? I don't know, you tell me, please comment down below. There may be some changes, there may be none, but since then, I finished my very own 10-day jump rope challenge. And I'll be showing you how it was for me, and here are my results. All right, let's do this. First things first, I'm making sure that my jump rope is the correct height for beginners, roughly around your armpits. I also made sure that I am wearing my running shoes, which is heavily padded and a tight sports bra and tight leggings as well. And of course, same as with any physical activity, we have to make sure our bodies are warmed up to avoid injuries and for maximum okay. performance. Hi, knees nice. Yes, girl, just like the athlete. You can see all the belly fat wiggling away. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a lot of belly fat right there. Uh, uh, it's just a warm up and I'm already out of breath. Yeah. Uh, Hi guys, so today is my first day of doing the jump rope and I actually downloaded the interval time app on my phone. So I'm doing 30 seconds of jump and 15 seconds of rest. And right now I just finished 10 sets because I am doing 40 sets of those to make it an equivalent of 20 minute jump time. Um, I'm five minutes in and my feet are already aching. I'm wearing my running shoes so I think it should be thick enough. If you have any suggestions to avoid this pain, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm guessing it's because of my weight. I don't know, it hurts. I'm trying to have the best form possible and I think my form is not that bad but maybe it's strong, I don't know. I'm, I'm clueless, please comment down below. So I figured soon after that the reason why I was having so much foot pain during the first 5 minutes was because when I attempted to relearn jump roping, I did it on a playground with a thick rubber flooring which turns out to be a lot more difficult for me than for me to skip on the pavement. So if you're skipping on a fitness map, just make sure it's the right amount of thickness. I also noticed that I was too eager to try out different tricks and experimenting on my form which is a really big no-no for a beginner especially for my weight. I guess I underestimated how difficult jump roping could be because it's not as easy as it once was. So please do not try this at home. Do not try tricks until you're ready. Just make sure you do the basic step first otherwise you're gonna risk getting yourself some injury. When I attempted to do these tricks before I was ready, it took so much energy and I was puffing so much I couldn't finish an entire 30 second set. But now I realized that within that 10 days, if you just focus on your basic step, you learn the tricks naturally and you progress eventually. Okay, I definitely underestimated this challenge. After committing to it, I came across a video saying that beginners like moi should not do more than 5 minutes a day. 
um, late notice because I'm kind of doing 20 minutes. That explains why my calves are burning like hell. The pain only subsided on day 4. But did it stop me? Of course not. Please do not be as stubborn as me though. Please train for nothing more than just 5 minutes first before committing to this challenge. What are you waiting for? Go grab a jambo now. dream On day one, I thought that I had good form because I was jumping within the 2 inch mark but now watching the days after, I noticed that I progressed significantly because I can now jump within an inch or so and still maintain my rhythm. It's a wrap! My 10 day jumper challenge is done! Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> This is me after 4 minutes of the jump rope workout. I have 16 more minutes to go. You can see. I'm not one that sweats a lot. Um, so having these drop from my face is unbelievable. You know, that's how tough this workout is. <laughs> that's just with 4 minutes of workout. Can you imagine what 20 minutes would do? <laughs> my last day of the jump rope challenge so I am about to weigh myself in I don't know what to expect I'm quite scared because there's a possibility that I'm bloated or I don't know so I'm hoping fingers crossed that I finally cross over the 100 kg I'm scared oh see I knew it I knew it it's because I have a food Okay, 
I'm pretty sure that you know this by now that I cry through everything. That's just how I vent out my emotions. I know it might appear that it's an unhealthy obsession over weight and the weight that I have lost over the past 10 days is already a lot especially for the fact that i did not change my diet whatsoever i just wanted to give you a real glimpse of how my genuine reaction was upon seeing the weighing scale and the only reason why my reaction was that is because i'm really passionate about losing that extra weight because i've been stuck on this weight being above 100 kg for for months now and i've been trying so hard to get that stubborn weight off and I find it so difficult. I just was just hoping that after the such an intense workout, I would finally break the 99 barrier. And there were days that I would weigh myself in in between the week or the past 10 days that I was 100.5 kg. So I was really hoping that today was the day, you know. But there are some days that I've eaten more the day before or I'm sore the day after. That really affects how I weigh in the next morning. If I'm bloated or not so maybe water weight i don't know take it as it is i'm just being real with you guys this are my genuine reaction and i feel like it is valid for me to be frustrated about it because one i'm working so hard for it although yes i'm guilty i did not really change my diet whatsoever which i should have had to achieve maximum results and second is that i have a lot of fat to burn i have a lot of fat to lose Yes, I gained a lot of muscles, but I still have a thick layer of fat that I can lose. For me to go below that 100 kg, it is not an unrealistic goal. But with that being said, I am aware that I was just being emotional. I was being an ungrateful brat. I lost a lot of weight. I lost around 2 kilograms, and that's a lot for 10 days. And if you're going through this journey, I just want to let you know that it is okay to get frustrated. It's part of the process. Just make sure that you snap out of it real quick yeah so so i just have to remind myself and pull myself back and get myself out of that situation and recognize that i am putting so much weight on my weight on the weight scale and it's a lot more than just that Having this side by side, I don't notice much difference. Let me know if you do though. My body shape has not changed much, as you can see from the fat folds behind. But that's exactly why my before and after measurements per section are so shocking to me. Okay, so here's the exciting part that just proves how we don't always have a realistic view of our progress. Girl, I lost one inch. All the disappointment, the tears over my weight was totally unnecessary. Again, I lost one inch on my waist. Unbelievable. I am so happy with this results. This just proves our progress go way beyond how we look or how much we weigh. But numbers don't lie, and always remember that what gets measured gets managed. The definition of my calves are not so apparent as well, at least visually, which I find kind of amusing because I've always had strong lower body, but I expected skipping to toe my calves more than it shows. As for the measurement, I didn't really expect it to change much, so no surprise there. I don't know if you notice the changes on my face on camera, but I definitely notice it in person. My chin is a lot more defined, making my face less round looking. I have less double chin. And the most obvious change, my cheekbones are finally popping out. Now, just for some fascinating comparison, I prepared the wiggle test all for you, honey. It may not be so noticeable, but I definitely see a difference in my belly. The fat in my before shot is a lot more dense compared to the after shot. Do you see it too, or are you just here for the amusement? So there you have it, that's how the experience was for me. And to clarify, I did not change my diet, I was eating as per normal. For this challenge, I just used a regular jump rope. It was tough to learn as it is. But moving forward, I bought a weighted jump rope. I think I'm ready to take the next step. Figuratively and literally, I'm excited to progress. So the real question is, will I keep doing jump rope or skipping rope? And the answer is definitely. I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to learn new tricks. I'm excited to lose more weight. I think it's very effective. 
and I just love the feeling of dancing with some music on and just skipping to the beat. I hope you can also give it a try but please practice caution especially if you're a beginner or if you are as heavy as I am. Please consult your physician and babe if you have already tried it please comment down below wasn't it just stuff because my cows are burning like hell. Is it supposed to burn like hell? I don't know. Please comment down below. I hope to see you on my Patreon page, Mayumi TV, and my website, www.hellomayumi.com. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye! What the hell is that? Oh my gosh. Just on you, I have a fair one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't believe that broke on me. It's my last day today. It's not.